This lesson, I will show you how to find absolute zero using the graph from the previous session. You will need your graph with you so you can follow through what I'm doing in the video. First of all, I'll explain the problems shown with this graph. Now you can see the graph is a straight line and normally with a straight line, we'd say that it was directly proportional. But because this graph doesn't start at zero, if I say what happens when I double the temperature, then you would normally say the pressure doubles. But in this case, when you look, doubling the temperature from 20 to 40 does not double the pressure anywhere near. This implies that we need a new scale for temperature, one that is proportional where the line starts at zero. In order to achieve this, we need to ask ourselves the question, what is the temperature when the pressure is zero? Now, the first thing we'll do to answer this question is find the gradient of the graph. Now, you should know how to find a gradient by now. It involves drawing a pretty large triangle from your line of best fit horizontally and vertically, making a right angle. The vertical side of this triangle we call delta Y, which is also known as change in Y. And the horizontal part of this triangle we call delta X, which means change in X. As you know, finding the gradient involves dividing the change in Y by the change in X. The change in X is found by drawing vertical lines down to the X axis from the point where the triangle meets the line of best fit and finding the difference between the two numbers. In this case, it will be 100 minus 25 will give us the change in X. The change in Y is found in a similar way. This time it's horizontal lines to the Y axis, making note of the two numbers there and finding the difference yet again. In this case, it's 116.5 minus 92. A simple calculation then gives us that the gradient is 0.326 kilopascals per centimeters cubed. What this actually means is that every time the temperature goes up by one degree Celsius, that the pressure will go up by 0.326 kilopascals or 326 pascals, if you like. The next piece of information that we need to work out absolute zero is the y-intercept. So as you can see, this goes off the corner of our graph paper. So we will need to calculate it using the equation of a straight line. The equation of a straight line is given as y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. To calculate C, we can use any pair of points of the graph. Pick the easiest ones to use, ones that sit on a solid line. In this instance, I'm using a pressure of 98 kilopascals and a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Substituting these into our equation of a straight line and performing some simple calculations will tell us what C, the y-intercept, is. That's given us a y-intercept of 84.92. And if you look down at the x-axis, it does look like the line would actually intercept at that point. Okay, so now we have our equation of our straight line. This equation can give us any value of y, provided we know x, or any value of x, provided that we know y. 
So y equals 0.327x plus 84.92. What this means is that we have a line that starts at 84.92 kilopascals when the temperature is zero and goes up at a rate of 0.327 kilopascals every one degree Celsius. So back to our starting question. What is the temperature when the pressure is zero kilopascals? The solution to that is pretty straightforward. If we substitute in a pressure of zero instead of Y, then we can work out the value of X for that pressure. That will give us the temperature at zero pascals. which from our graph gives us the temperature of minus 259.7 degrees Celsius. Now that's not accurate because our line of best fit was drawn by hand and we were only using a very, very short range of temperatures considering how far away that value is from the range we were using. The actual temperature at which pressure is zero is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. And we call that temperature absolute zero, where there is no pressure, no particle movement, no energy. This is the temperature that our Kelvin scale starts from. Zero degrees Kelvin is minus 273 degrees Celsius, and it goes up in the same increments as the Celsius scale.